Tonight, we walk with the Lord through his suffering, death, and resurrection. May this dramatic presentation of the Stations of the Cross allow us to identify our suffering with Jesus, who loves us. Let us follow him to Calvary, believing that in all experiences of our lives, God is with us. The First Station Jesus is Condemned to Death Pilate sat on his judge's bench as governor of Judea, with the power to free Jesus or condemn him to death. At daybreak, they brought Jesus to Pilate. Pilate asked him, Are you the king of the Jews? A great crowd assembled. They began to yell that he must be crucified. Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Pilate knew that Jesus was innocent of any crime. As he sat on the bench, his wife warned him of a dream she had that told her that Pilate should have nothing to do with this man. Pilate stood up and told the crowd, Take him and crucify him yourself. I find no case against this man. But Pilate gave in to the demands of the crowds when they protested. If you free this man, you are no friend of Caesar. So Pilate washed his hands of the matter, declaring, I am innocent of this man's blood, and handed him over to be crucified. The Second Station Jesus Accepts His Cross Crosses are part of human life. As the soldiers place the cross on Jesus' shoulders, he knows it will not be taken away until he is nailed to it on Calvary, but he accepts it just the same. May we accept the crosses of sickness, pain, suffering, and isolation with the same courage as Jesus did. The Third Station Jesus Falls the First Time Jesus is weak and almost ready to faint after being whipped and crowned with thorns. He falls under the weight of the cross, but nobody is inclined to help him. The soldiers push, kick, and yell at him to get up and keep going. Jesus falls from weakness, but he knows he must find the strength to get up and continue on. The Fourth Station Jesus Meets His Mother Jesus has been subjected to a kind of cruelty that few have had to endure. Betrayed and denied by his friends, handed over by his followers, and forced to sever the indignities of a criminal, he at last can see in the crowd someone who loves and genuinely feels for him. It is Mary, his beloved mother. She cannot do much to stop his suffering. But she gives a look that tells him that she is suffering with him. It is a tender and unforgettable moment. The Fifth Station Simon Takes the Cross The soldiers are afraid that Jesus may not make it to Calvary for crucifixion. He is getting weaker and weaker. So they seize a man out of the crowd named Simon the Cyrenian, and they force him to carry the cross. Simon really does not want to do this. He would rather just stand by and watch everything. But he has no choice as they make him carry the cross for Jesus. The Sixth Station Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. Suddenly, a woman comes forward. The march to Calvary stops. The woman's name is Veronica. She is another person who shows she cares. Despite the brutality of the soldiers and ignoring the fear of the crowd, she takes a cloth and begins to wipe his face to clear away the sweat and blood. Veronica, 
in her simple act of kindness and compassion, was blessed with the imprint of the face of our Lord upon her cloth. Seventh Station Jesus Falls a Second Time Jesus is exhausted and struggles to continue as the cross feels heavier and heavier. For the second time, Jesus falls on the dirt road. This time, it is even harder for him to get up. Even though he knows he is going to his death, he does not give up. Instead, he gets back up on his feet and again he continues. The Eighth Station Jesus meets the woman of Jerusalem. On the side of the road, there is a group of women following along beside Jesus. They are weeping, and he can see they feel helpless. He comforts them despite his own suffering. He tells them, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep for yourselves and for your children. The Ninth Station Jesus Falls a Third Time Jesus is nearing the dreaded place of Calvary. The top of that hill means the end of his human life. For a third time, Jesus falls, and yet, despite the weakness that overcomes his body, he finds the strength to get up once more and continue on. The Tenth Station Jesus is stripped of his clothes. The humiliation that Jesus experiences is intensified. After the long journey from Pilate's court to Calvary, the soldiers add insult to injury by stripping him of his clothes and therefore what they thought was his dignity. Underneath his clothes was a mess of blood and sores. In this cruelty and ignorance, People watching make jokes, laugh, and spit at him. The Eleventh Station Jesus is now to the cross. Jesus is now stretched out upon his cross, and the soldiers take and drive the spikes into his hands and feet. The soldiers then play dice for what is left of his clothes. The Twelfth Station Jesus Dies It was now around midday, and darkness came over the whole land until mid-afternoon with an eclipse of the sun. The curtain in the temple was torn in two. Jesus uttered a loud cry and said, Father, into your hands I commend my spirit. After he said this, he died. The centurion who stood guard over him, on seeing the manner of his death, declared, Truly, this man was the Son of God. When the crowd which had assembled for this spectacle saw what had happened, they went home in sorrow. All his friends and the woman who had accompanied him from Galilee were standing at a distance, watching everything. The Thirteenth Station Jesus is taken down from the cross. Jesus was roughly put upon the cross and is now gently taken down from it by his friends, Joseph of Arimathea and Nicodemus. He again is cradled in the arms of his mother, and all the dirt and blood is wiped away.
The Fourteenth Station Jesus is laid in the tomb. After they had taken him down from the cross, Joseph of Arimathea, Nicodemus, and John, his beloved disciple, took the body of Jesus. In accordance with Jewish burial custom, they bound him up in wrappings of cloth with perfumed oils and placed the body in Joseph's new tomb in which no one had ever been buried. The Fifteenth Station, The Resurrection On the morning of the first day of the week, Mary Magdalene sat weeping beside the tomb. As she went to look, she saw an angel who said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She answered, Because the Lord has been taken away, and I do not know where they have put him. She no sooner said this when she turned around and caught sight of Jesus standing there, but she did not know him. Woman, he said, why are you weeping? Who is it you are looking for? She supposed he was the gardener and said, Sir, if you are the one who has carried him off, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary. She turned and said to him, Teacher, Later that evening, Jesus appeared to his disciples and said, Peace be with you. Do not be afraid. Go and carry the good news to all the world, and know that I will be with you always until the end of time. Jesus gave his life for us by dying on the cross to take away the sins of the world and give us hope of eternal life. What can we do for all that he's done for us? May our response be a simple, thank you, Lord, and may we serve others in his name. Let us go forth as a people of God, united with one another in faith, for nothing can separate us from the love of God, and true joy is believing that in both life and in death, you belong to the Lord.